Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the Collective of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's, it's the Eclipse Edition. Ooh, ooh. Um, normally my readings are not date or time specific. This series of readings is dedicated to eclipse season, which we had the um, new moon in Libra with a solar eclipse on the 14th of October and at the end of the month, I want to say the 28th, we'll have the um, full moon in Taurus with a lunar eclipse. Now, both Libra and Taurus are ruled by Venus. So this eclipse season is happening in our relationships sector. So I thought it would be helpful to tap into those present energies since things really speed up during eclipse season. But whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, it may be your message at that time. So don't let the date and times of readings mess with your head <laughs> we're all here all the readers are here drawing off your off the energies coming through so please um, be confident that if it feels like it's pretty aligned with your situation um, it's likely your message whenever you come upon it you can be here as a cross watcher for a capricorn welcome and if you're new to the channel welcome i do hope if you enjoy the reading you'll consider joining us here by subscribing help me get these readings out to other people just like you who really need those messages okay okay so i'm pulling from fortune oracle to activate the reading Let's see what we get. Do keep in mind it's general, not private, so it may not resonate for everybody. If you're interested in a private reading, there's a link in the description box below that will take you to my booking page. You can read all about it, scroll through testimonials. Okay, so that's there for you as well. Here we go. Oh, card 22, that's a master number, sacred number, we don't reduce it. Mountain. Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. You are protected, but remain cautious. Kind of a perfect message, um, Capricorn. I always associate the mountain cards in oracles with Capricorn because of the, you know, your, your, you got the goat. Um, and it always feels to me very spiritual, uh, that goat ascending the mountain getting to the peak so he can see out in all directions um, seeking that higher wisdom and greater vision so understand that with this 22 sacred number there's something coming through for those of you that say yeah i'm facing some challenges now you are protected um, and you do want to exercise caution so this is a slower moving goat is what i'm trying to tell you okay exercise some caution <laughs> yeah i love that that um i heard it from another astrologer quite frankly i never thought of capricorn and i have some strong capricorn placements in my chart i never thought of it as spiritual but it's very spiritual um it's very ascension focused I know. So here we go. I'm going to pull the spread and give you my general impressions. We'll let the clarifiers give us the details. And it is a different spread than I normally use, so I will walk you through it. Here we go. Oh. I was going to say, your goat is the Knight of Pentacles, and here he is. So I should have said it, because now you probably think, yeah, nice, nice try, Laura. All right, so yes, you're looking down the road. This is what um, needs to be embraced. So what we're releasing is some stuck energy. What needs to be embraced is your vision of the future, long-term committed connection, building a life with someone, life partnership, etc. And the reason why I went there first is because the energy signature for eclipse season for you is all about your sacred connection, the beginnings of life partnership or a focus on life partnership. I see this as the 1111 card. If you see those wands, the way my eyes pick it up visually. So I'm feeling 1111 and 22. There's just a lot of really good numerology here that feels very, um, like it's steeped in some synchronicity for somebody out here. Now, something you can't see, your person moving towards you very slowly with all due caution. Um, so there is this sense of you're both 
in some phase of ascension and you are both um, moving forward deliberately, right? And maybe a little methodically, which slows the pace, but also with all due caution. And caution doesn't always mean a beware kind of caution, even though this talks about protection. Um, sometimes caution is so we don't miss an important step in the process. Something coming to light is something coming to light, the Ace of Swords. In eclipse season, I'm feeling some epiphanies coming through. Someone, maybe both of you seeing things very clearly and or some truths being revealed. We'll see what the clarifiers. What's being amplified here though is that self-protection, is some guardedness. Um, especially if things feel like they might be speeding up and some other energy is slowing things down. And that's why you're being called to release the overthinking of that, the second guessing yourself and or this person, the self-limiting beliefs, right? All the doubt that creeps in. So there's something here where you're going to a place in your mind because things may not be progressing at the pace that you would have hoped. Um, so the guardedness is being amplified. Some self-protectiveness is being amplified. <clears throat> Excuse, please. Um, let's see what comes through. Four of Wands. Patience, grasshopper. Patience. Yeah, temperance. Something here. There's <clears throat> the time that it takes. Remember this person coming toward you very slowly. The time that it takes is, is giving you um, the wisdom uh, that the goal here is balance. The goal here is harmony. The goal here isn't whoever gets their fastest wins because that could lead to a lot of disharmony. Um, and it feels to me like you're being called with that nine of pentacles under, underneath. That's an unconscious awareness in the psyche. You're being called to like, yeah, focus on, um, on yourself, on your independence, on your autonomy, on your self-concept, on, um, your confidence, on the life that you're already living and building, the things you're doing what you're creating in your world. There's something here that's calling you to bring your attention back to you because the energy signature of eclipse season for you is on the connection, but it feels to me like this is all happening, <clears throat> excuse me, with an emphasis on flow, okay? And so as a result, especially if the person you're dealing with, if they move a lot slower than you do, where do you go in your head when things don't unfold at the pace that you feel they should be unfolding at? Um, so focus on you. Don't let the energies of this eclipse season propel you so far forward before this person can kind of catch up. So there's the wisdom of patience. The wisdom that tells you that in time, all the energies come into flow and wait for it, balance. And this is Libra, by the way. We just had that new moon in Libra. So it does feel like it's talking to you about this being a process. And whoever it is you're dealing with <clears throat> is process oriented. Let's look at the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, um, Knight of Pentacles with the Nine of Wands. Um, the Nine of Wands is perseverance. It is pushing through against all odds, sometimes pushing through lots of exhaustion, frustration, uh, maybe even feeling like against the ropes to some degree, but there's an energy of, I ain't got no quit in me. Um, so whoever it is, is pushing forward very methodically yet cautiously, um, and on some level, however long it takes is however long it takes is seven of pentacles. This is a patient process oriented person. 
They have not given up on this connection. They have not given up on the happiness that they know would be evident if what they're trying to accomplish is realized. They know that the happiness would be there. They know that they would feel it was a successful outcome. So this isn't somebody who's going to rush and push and um, jump before they're ready. They're just not. Um, so for those of you who are feeling like, well, that sounds more like me and I'm the cross watcher. That's fine. That's fine. Take it as it speaks to you or resonates for you. But whoever it, this is, um, that I'm, you know, what you can't see is whoever this is, um, hasn't given up on the prospect of happiness. Excuse please. Thought I turned that phone off. I did not. My bad. It happens. So what I'm trying to say is whoever this is isn't worried about how long it takes. They're um, absolutely not giving up on the potential happiness that can be found in this connection, but they're moving at their own pace for a reason. So now something coming to light for you here. <clears throat> Ah, there's been a misunderstanding. There's something that needs to be cleaned up here, um, cleared up for sure. Look at all the swords, ace of swords, knight of swords, queen of swords. And what are we talking about? Eight of cups. So it feels to me like there might be some uh, realizations, some awarenesses of a real reason for someone who may have walked away um, or who may have just pushed forward in another direction, leaving you feeling left behind on some level. I definitely feel like there have been unanswered questions, Queen of Swords. And so what's coming to light in eclipse season is the clarity around that. Um, the Ace of Swords is your, oh, aha, I get it. I see it. And it could be a truth that is spoken into your reality that allows you to see things more clearly and get those questions answered. So I sort of encourage you to be um, aware of that potential, come at it from a more practical, pragmatic approach. This isn't an emotional uh, scene that is going to unfold or that is unfolding. It's more cerebral. It's more about the processing and somebody explaining themselves or you explaining yourself. Something's going to be cleared up here along the way. Um, but I feel like it's coming to light for you, like a, a, a definitely an aha moment. So what's being amplified... Well, we're wanting some reconciliation, a cause for celebration with this Three of Cups. We're manifesting um, some form of an offloading of some negative karma. So in order to do that, you kind of got to drop that center pentacle. The Four of Pentacles is shut down energy. It's either holding on to something it, it perceives as valuable to them, or it's um, meaning like a not wanting to let go, or it's a total guarded energy with you know lots of walls being erected, heart chakra being closed off. And so I'm feeling like there's some closed off energy here that's gonna make it really hard to manifest the offloading of that, the final release of that, 10 of wands, it's done, let it go. And what's you know, being amplified is the sort of vice grip that you have on something that needs to be released if you want the reconciliation, if you want the cause for celebration, if you want a coming together where there's joy um, and a sense that you've come through something successfully, the sun. So I definitely feeling what's being amplified this time around for you um, is your resistance to opening up, making yourself a little vulnerable. I know it doesn't always feel good, but you've waited on like a long time here. It feels like this has been happening for a while. 
playing itself out for a while. So let's see what you need to release is the stuck energy. <laughs> Four of Pentacles can be stuck. Eight of Swords, definitely stuck. <clears throat> Look at all these swords. Wow, wow, wow. Eight of Swords, Four of Swords, Five of Swords, Nine of Swords. You're wrestling all up in your head. And you're not dropping down into your heart chakra because it's blocked off, because you have it closed off. Um, I get the impression that some healing's really needed. You may have been feeling very defeated in this situation, lost a lot of sleep over it, very anxiety ridden about it, um, very unsettled in your mind about how things have unfolded, and yet you're stuck. The healing can't take place because there's some kind of constriction that's occurring within. So I am feeling like the best remedy for that is awareness, um, right? Like, oh yeah, maybe that's exactly what's happening. I say I want a thing, but my, where my mind goes is danger will Robinson, like I'm not safe. And I feel it's coming from how long things are taking to unfold, um, the slowness of the motion, the forward motion, very slow, if at all, like it's imperceptible to you perhaps. And because there's such a focus on the future here, four of wands and 10 of pentacles, that can lead us to go to dark places. It can lead us to kind of, you know, batten down the hatches. And I'm not safe in this situation. This person doesn't want what I want. They don't feel what I feel. That's not what I'm seeing here. Um, I'm seeing lots of thought processing and not a lot coming from truly tapping into your heart, to the awareness of how you feel. There's a lot of emphasis on how you're thinking. Um, so let's see what that 10 of pentacles, what needs to be embraced. Right. An emphasis on how you feel. There it is. Wow. Embrace the love of your life. If this is the love of your life, if this is your chosen person, page of pentacles, you're both on a learning, in a learning process and a path yeah, decisions have to be made here. Two of wands underneath. What is it that you really want? Um, which path will likely get you there? And what do you need to set in motion? And that's something you're both learning. And it feels to me like with that page of pentacles, it's a bit of baby steps, um, little baby steps at a time. And that can be frustrating to somebody who feels that they're very clear because you're all up in your head here feels like they're very clear and then the other person's moving slowly and, and to, to you that's a major red flag. Um, and so what I have to say is tap back in, you know, drop into your heart chakra. In the Eight of Swords, you can't see it in this deck, but in most decks, what's in front of her is a puddle. You notice that the swords are not blocking her path forward. Even though she's blindfolded and loosely bound here, she can walk, but she doesn't because she's trying to think her way out of this thing, absent some of her senses, right? The truth is, if she took that first step forward into the puddle, that, that's water. In tarot, water is emotions. So I'm feeling that's what's holding you back. It's holding back your healing because there's a, a lack of trust here of someone's intentions. There could have been a situation where you were left feeling very defeated in the arrangement on some level. Um, and I feel like you're being called to have the wisdom of patience, a different kind of patience. Your person here is working with organic time, right? Things are going to happen organically. Um, and you're being called to something higher than that, something more spiritual, as I said in the beginning. And there is a mountain that you're both scaling here, and I feel whatever comes to light should help you understand something that you either misunderstood, didn't see clearly, didn't have enough information, didn't have enough of your questions answered to make heads or tails of. And so then what's being amplified is 
How much of a vice grip do you have covering up your heart chakra so that you cannot offload the negative karma and then move forward? So this is a really powerful reading. It feels um, like it's nuanced and has a lot of layers. I do want to look at this situation from your Knight of Pentacles point of view. So that's what I'm going to do in the extended. For those of you that say, yep, that is exactly what's going on, then you might want to follow me there. But before I do that, here's our astrology for this reading. Temperance is Sagittarius, Justice is Libra, little Virgo here in our Nine of Pentacles, as is the Knight of Pentacles is also Virgo. The Sun is the Sun, which rules Leo. Um, Knight of Swords is Gemini, Queen of Swords is Libra. Magician is Gemini and Virgo, that is Mercury right there. And our Page of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So that's what I have for you. If you want to explore your person, we're going to see what they're persevering through and being so patiently, um, what they're navigating so patiently, then the link to that is in the description box below. In the first sentence, I will see you there in a second. Bye for now.